the premier apples right now in the state of Washington. Um, one that brings the most dollar value back. It's Christmas. very expensive. Oh. It's you know really good eating. Uh -huh. so it's one okay. of the most favorite apples. Honey crisp. Honey crisp. Yeah. But the problem with this apple is it's a real bugger to grow. Oh. And it has it has some characteristics of it that um, cause a defect. This apple is primarily um, propagated in the East Coast, and so and the growing conditions are a little cooler over there. So this isn't an ideal place to grow them. But you can see this, this is what we call bitter pit. You see these little specks that happen on this root. Yeah. Once that happens, the apple becomes a coal. So we can't pack it. It'll, this, this apple, when you put it in storage or in a box, this will, will just spread and the apple is, you know, unedible. And so when you see a lot of that on the ground, that's what a lot of it is. It gets thrown on the ground because uh, we can't put it in the box. And, you know, with juice prices and things like that, you know, 20 years ago, you know, you could afford to put a, put this kind of stuff in a bin because you would get, you would get some money for that. And in today's prices with the juice, it just doesn't pay. You got to, in a sense, you're trying to put, you know, the best fruit in a bin to optimize that, you know, return back to the grower because you just, you just don't get it. There's no value in it uh, uh, to offset it. Unlike an organic, you know, an organic, you can kind of put everything, organic juices with some right. value and you uh -huh. can get away with putting a, what would be a coal in there and non-packable and, and get juice for it and the offer it. So it's really sad. I and mean, this isn't, this isn't bad. I mean, these, these trees have settled down You'll see, you know, we've had some instances in this when these things were coming in that 70% of the fruit would maybe be on the ground because of it. So it's, it's really... What caused it? It's, it's a, the reason it comes out is a, it's a calcium deficiency. Ah. Okay, so the, the tree has not... Um, the fruit is neglected enough of that calcium to... to, to um, and it causes that to do that. And so we're, nobody has the right solution or the answers. We, we all fight it, we all combat it. We, mm -hmm. we, everybody's trying different things, you know, injecting things in the soil. And uh, some years it's better than others. And some years it's really bad. It depends on the, you know, the growing season and the age of the trees. Just to give you an idea how bad it can be. All right, that's what it, that's how bad it can get, you know. And, and it, it, it will and it will come out. It's like a tattoo. <laughs> yeah. And it'll it'll get progressively get worse. Like if you take this apple and you put it in a box and maybe it sits sits for a few weeks, and then it, it has a potential to have this start other, to happen. You, know? apple. you don't yeah, you don't see it right away. But one of the things we do with this apple is you can see I hold my hand here is a clipper. And because of the the value of this fruit, we take every apple and we clip that stem mm -hmm. and then goes into the bag and goes into the bin okay. because the stems, these things are a, a thin, thin fruit and that, 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 what can happen is, that won't work, but, um, when you put them in a bin, you know, and this comes like this, you have that potential uh, to, honey crisp, honey crisp. But the problem with this apple is it's a real bugger to grow. Oh. And it has, it has some characteristics of it that um, cause a defect. This apple is primarily um, propagated in the East Coast. And so in the growing conditions are a little cooler over there. So this isn't an ideal place to grow. Them. But you can see this, this is what we call bitter pit. You see these little specks that happen on this fruit. Yeah. Once that happens, apple becomes a coal. So we can't pack it. It'll this this apple when you put it in storage or in a box, this will will just spread, and the apple is you know unedible. And so when you see a lot of that on the ground, that's what a lot of it is. It gets thrown on the ground because uh, we can't put it in the box. And you know, with juice prices and things like that, you know, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. you know, you could afford to put a 
put this kind of stuff in a bin because you would get you would get some money for that. Mm -hmm. And in today's crisis with the Jews, it just doesn't pay. You got to, in a sense, you're trying to put, you know, the best fruit in a bin to optimize that, you know, return back to the grower because you just you just don't get it. There's no value in it uh, uh, to offset it. Unlike an organic, you know, an organic you can kind of put everything organic juices with some value, and you can get away with putting. A, what would be a coal in there, and non-packable, and get juice for it in the off -grade. So it's really sad, and this isn't this isn't bad. I mean, these, these trees have settled down. You'll see, you know, we've had some instances in this when these things were coming in that 70 percent of the fruit would maybe be on the ground because of it. So it's it's really what cost it then? it's it's a the reason it comes out is a, it's a calcium deficiency. Okay, so the, the tree has not, uh, the fruit is neglected enough of that calcium to, to uh, and causes that to do that. So we're, nobody has the right solution or the answers. We, we all fight it, we all combat it. Everybody's trying different things, you know, injecting things in the soil. And, uh, some years it's better than others, and some years it's really bad. It depends on, you know, the growing season. And the age of the trees, idea how bad it could be. All right, that's what it, that's how bad it can get, you know. And and it it, it will and it will come out. It's like a tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll it'll get progressively get worse. Like if you take this apple and you put it in a box and maybe it sits sits for a few weeks, and then it, it has a potential to have this well, start to happen, you know, apple. you don't, yeah, you don't see it right away, but one of the things we do with this apple is, you can see I hold my hand here, is a clipper, and because of the, the value of this fruit, we take every apple and we clip that stem, mm -hmm. and then it goes into the bag and goes into the bin, the bin. because okay. the stems, these things are a, a thin, Thin fruit, and that 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 what can happen is that won't work. But um, when you put them in a bin, you know, and this comes like this, you have that potential oh, to do that oh, to it. Okay, and so you know, we do this on the Fuji apple mm -hmm. and the Honeycrisp honey apple. Those are the only two apples that we Gale, do it with. Gale. Galas no, Reds no. Uh, honey crisp and Fiji. Yes. And so, so you can imagine now, if, if I'm a picker and I'm a worker, mm -hmm. it's a lot more time consuming, right? right? Mm -hmm. Because he's got one hand occupied with this to pick the apple, to clip it, yes. to put it in the bag. A gala, a red, any other, any other apple, you got the picking bag on, right? Mm -hmm. And you're just picking and putting them <laughs> in the bag. So you, so you got an added cost to this. So right now we're paying. $45 a band. So it's like a picker to pick. You take like a gala, um, you probably $25. You know, so that gets you the difference. So, uh, how long will it take? Well, a honey crisp takes a little bit of time, right? Because of this. You know, good pickers, um, good pickers will do. Four or five of those a day, a day in an eight-hour shift. Oh. Really, really good ones will do. Really, really good. Really, really, really good ones might do five or six on a honey. Yeah. I'm telling you, I've done a better job than last time. We'll go around and show you. Good too. You've never had a honey crisp? No. In here in Washington, special. That one, that one might be better. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's a little ripe. Yeah. That's been in the sun. You can see that. Oh, see yeah. that water in there? This one's a little bit, little bit sunburned. Mm. I know when you see all those apples on the ground, it makes me so that sad. Is it like, dropped or? Oh. Where are my people? Are? Do you have any idea approximately how many apples get in there? In, one in a pan? Mm-hmm. All depends on the size of the apple. Mm -hmm. um, each each pan is 
about depending on the fruit size, the fruit too. Mm-hmm. Each bin weighs anywhere from because it's all on weight, of course. Mm -hmm. Like right now, we're picking uh, we're picking honey. So, so right now, the bins are full are about 850 pounds right now. So if you're if you're um, this is like a, almost 400 kilo. Yeah. So if you're like doing like a like a Fuji, for instance, they're a little bit denser, a little bit heavier. They'll mm -hmm. get up as, you know, over a thousand pounds in a bin, you know. And it all it's all based on the fruit size of how many apples we yeah. get put in. Good, because good. of the, yeah. Yeah. In uh, non-experience, first timer, how many bins did do they pick in a day? You mean a first timer dude? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, like, like the good one, like you, you're not gonna. Uh, oh, I, I don't need to. I think a first day guy is gonna learn it. I think he's maybe gonna do a couple of bends. Uh -huh. You know, until he learns them, until you get used to it. You first week. Not only that, your body has to get used to that weight. Right. Uh -huh. You know, it's a, it's physically, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. You know. And so it takes a. You know, like the guys that we sent back, uh -huh. we, we had them for three weeks before we said oh, enough is training. enough. Oh, okay. So no so grooming, huh? like We days? gave them three weeks to mm -hmm. try to figure yes. it out, uh -huh. you know, and by then it's like... Big challenges, but it's it not working, work. you know. You said they're doing like a couple beans per day, something like that? Uh -huh. After three weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that ain't good. You know, it's costing me, you know, $150 a bin, you know? Mm -hmm. And I get it. Not everybody can do this. It's a, it's a difficult job, you know? And so you can see also, you see the fruit that we're leaving, right? Mm -hmm. We're leaving this green fruit. We're, we're actually color picking too. We're not coming in and picking every apple. We'll mm -hmm. come back and we'll make another pass. Oh. Right? So So he's on his second, he's on his second, second. Band. yeah. And so you can see what he's doing here. So we got, here's the fruiting mall before we pick, right? So this is, this is, nothing's been hard to stop these trees. Buckets, or we pick into a large bag, bag a picking yeah. bag, like the Gala, Gala's Reds and other ones. We'll pick into a bag, and the bag is much larger. Uh -huh. We want to keep, we want to use a small bucket because this thing is padded. If you look in there, it's, it's all padded mm -hmm. to prevent the bruising. Uh -huh. Reds, Gala's, some of the other varieties That's don't okay. bruise as fast, so it's very important that we, you know, you slow the picking down because these bruise so easy. So that's why we, we integrate the buckets for it. So you gotta look, I mean, you got some work, so he has to shimmy up the ladder, of course, because yeah. we mm -hmm. gotta pick all those fruits up there. Right there. And so, you know, you're, and you can see how you, how you grab the apple, you cut, you try to twist it off, right? I mean, you just kind of roll it, you try, to, you try to roll it off of the stem, like that. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay, you don't, because this is next year's fruit. Uh-huh, yeah. All right, very important. You, what you don't want to do is, pull you know, it. pull it off like that because you run into that potential. So you just, you just try to roll it. Oh. Now sometimes, sometimes the whole spur will come, right? Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, it, it may, the whole thing may come off, especially if it's green. Oh, if it's so green, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> uh huh. 
So if, if the if the if the stem is like you see how the stem is, then you don't have to cut it. Because we found out over the years, like if you take you, yeah, mm -hmm. well, you imagine if you take yeah, the clippers yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. trying to stick it down there, what do you do? You're, yeah. you're cutting that apple, apple and you're damaging yeah. the apple. So you just try to teach them, or, you know, if it's flush with it, you know, just don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, the, the key with like a Honeycrisp apple on a Fuji is, is, is it's not a race. You know, I mean, yeah. you gotta you've gotta pick them slow because they are they they just they're very tender. They mm -hmm. bruise really easy, and so um, that's why you know you pay a little bit more mm -hmm. to have them pick. Yeah. And uh, um, it's probably a good apple to learn on because it makes you slow methodical. Mm -hmm. As they as they dump as they dump it out. You know, they're just kind of double-checking anything that they may have put in there and they toss it out. Oh, okay. they, don't spend, they don't spend a bunch of time looking at that. Mm -hmm. But this is a, this is a beautiful bin. It's a nice, yeah. nice bin of fruit. Yeah. So some of these defects you can get away with. It. So this is like, you know, this is a limb rub. Mm -hmm. So it probably hit a limb. I mean, you can't. You can't put the perfect apple in a bin. Oh, yeah. It's impossible. Okay. impossible yeah. I mean, the warehouse. The warehouses now have, have eye imagery, right? They can, when this thing goes through the warehouse, there's cameras taking taking images of this thing so much, and they can take these defects and put them in a lower grade, right? They can check. Yes, they check for everything. <laughs> everything. Yes. And so you know. Um, so he's like he said he's on bin two and we started probably at six thirty this morning. We're gonna probably do you know like four or four minutes today. We're not we're not it's a little warm to feel the temperature. We'll quit a little because today's gonna be hot as well. You know, it's twelve o'clock. Um, you know, we might have to quit early just because it's gonna get so hot out here for the workers. After today the heat's supposed to fall off and be much cooler we can work. But we don't work in past you know, a, a nine hour day or something like that. No, no, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. You know, if you push you guys too hard. Show me stuff. ¿Qué pasa, amigo? Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, ¿eh? Está bien. So look, he's up, he's picking up the ladder. So you will be happy if it's for then a day? Yeah. On a honey crisp? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On this particular variety? Yeah. 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 Yeah
stop because you know because you've got to understand back in the day when we had when you did peace labor mm -hmm. you didn't have those type of laws they want guys don't want to stop mm -hmm. you know it's no it's like now we they made it a law but we have we make them come out of the orchard we make them stop even for peace labor because you know back in the day it didn't matter they took their lunch they took their breaks whenever they wanted but now, with the new regulations and the new laws, you have to force them to stop, even on, you know, on peace labor and, and whatnot. So one person, each, you call I? Or, uh, yeah, each row. Yes. Yes. So you can see he's he's picking both sides of this. This, uh-huh. Yep. So that guy's on the other side. And, uh -huh. and cause you don't, what you, you know, you don't want to be reaching through oh, and grabbing no. the apples yeah. over there and, and, and whatnot. So, yeah. And this so, is... So this bag they're carrying, when it's full, it's like about maybe how many pounds? Oh, 20, 30, 30 pounds? Yeah. Maybe? Yep. 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 So that's, that's, that's the physical aspect of it. Yeah. Obviously. And, and so you can imagine mm -hmm. it's with, gonna be like with a gala bag or, and we're not picking any, but the bigger bags, uh -huh. it's bigger. So the fruit's going to hang to here, right? Mm -hmm. So you got 45 pounds, you know, 50 okay. pounds. So when that bag's full, right, it's here, you're taking that bag uh -huh. and you're, you're having to lift that thing up. And then lay and then lay it in there and fill it. So there's much more physical exertion because you're putting more fruit in the bag versus versus this thing. Mm -hmm. These two uh, train people. Well, these are these are my HPA guys. They're brand new guys. I mean, they've been they've been picking for four weeks. So you're paying with paying to them by by bin. By bin. Not by hour. Yeah. They prefer that. They can make more money, yeah. you know, in a day if you're if you're a good picker. Yeah, mm -hmm. You're a good picker. Exactly. They're trying to be good. This is the port part. Yeah. So the bottom opens up and you just lay the fruit in bin. See that? So the same principle is with the other bag. It's just a canvas bag. The whole thing is like this and not hard. That's the difference between them. Perfecto, amigo. Está <laughs> bien, está bien. Yeah. It's a technique. Yeah. Sure. So you can, you know. Yeah, and you know, in the beginning, it's, you know, you've got. You gotta go all the way to the bottom. You know, we put a pad in here. You can see there's a pad here. This helps oh, okay. with, with initially. We we only use those in this variety. The other ones is just a just a regular bin. We do everything that we can to prevent these apples from getting damaged anyway, because you know it's such a it's such a high money making variety.
Mm -hmm. My numbers were this morning when I talked to them were um There's no rhyme with this thing, is there? Huh? Rhyme with this thing. I was sitting at 2,300 bands, okay? As of this morning before anything, I was at Aaron Quincy and there was, we were loading some up. And I figured we had another 750, another full day. We've been picking about 700, 750 bins a day, okay? And so we should do the same thing today, which would put us at about uh, 7, 12, you know, just shy from 3,000 total bins, right? And so I don't know, Jair, if, if Cesar thought we would be real close to getting the test today. If not, you know, maybe we got another 100 or 200. I don't, I think as a total, I think it should be more like that 3,000. That's what I'm doing, okay? Where are you at there? It's sad, you know. You see, you know, you see, you see starving people in the yeah. world, you know, and you're just like, we can't do anything with this. Yeah. Huh? Oh, come on! You want to take a whole bag? I think that's enough. You think that's enough? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so, Let's it so this is our this is our taking out the, the wood and the ladder. Oh, okay. instead of a ladder they use. Instead of a ladder we're using this. The, 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 the same thing. Exact same thing. Mm -hmm. Only the ladder. Yep. Well sure. Down a ladder, less fatigue. Uh -huh. we, can, we can run these machines at nighttime too. Oh, it has a light? Has lights, lights up. We run them at, we run them at night. We're not running them at night now in the Honeycrisp, but when, we, when we're in a really, really push peak down. push, like in galas uh -huh. and stuff, we'll, we'll run them uh, on a 20, you know, run them at nighttime. Especially if we're running into really hot, hot uh -huh. weather uh -huh. and we can only work from, um, so like in the, in the morning till 11 o'clock. Uh -huh. You know, like we would be stopping an hour ago. Uh -huh. Sometimes when the weather's really hot, we need those to work at night because the fruit keeps maturing. And yeah, and so it really, really helps us out in, in, in that aspect. So you call sometimes? Yeah, this, so this is just an automatic, automated platform. Um, and more and more and more guys, you know, anything, you know, we're trying to optimize harvests. Quicker, so you can see that the, uh, the fruit that they've taken off some of the trees not all of them. They they could be they need to be picking that fruit up there. That It, it picks up the bin. When that bin's full, we drop 
it, it comes out the back side, and, and you just put up another door. This is faster than the other side? Yes. When it comes like that, you pay must be different. Well, we still pay them by the band. Yeah. Yeah, we'll pick this in about a week. What? Oh, this? What's this for? This one, really? Yeah. Because we're trying, we're trying to make these apples red. Like affecting sun is like sun. Yeah, it's like. Oh. So redder, red, more the color is red is. The better we get, the better chance, chance we can export these to Asia. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. Well, we're ready to eat. Yeah. Okay. You see, right? So it's, it's a lot different than what you were looking at, right? Yes. On the honeycrisp? It's bigger. It's bigger. It's, uh, I'm gonna you so you pull it up like up and then yeah so you, you, you just kind of roll it off oh, the roll curve. it up yeah okay. Whoop. see how see how that's a little green the color mm -hmm. yeah inside. it's a little bit green so we, we need we need a little it's bit like more we need a little bit more time for that to get yellow you know this isn't um this is an early Fuji. It's not. It's not the best apple to get red. <laughs> ah. You know, like the, the, that that yeah, variety over there is an yeah. Aztec Fuji. We pick it, you know, in a month from now. Ah. It, it it gets redder. It gets better. Th this is just kind of an early strain, and it's not really ideal for um, for color. It's good to eat. Um, yeah. You can see they get big. Mm -hmm. this be, I found a honey. I, I wish I had it with you. I took it home. I found a honey crisp last week, and that apple was it was this big. Honey crisp. Yeah, it was huge. The biggest uh, apple. The biggest apple, apple I've, I've ever, ever seen. In I've your ever career. seen. Career. <laughs> uh, yes. I mean, look at how big that. Is. Oh yeah. So it's gonna get more bigger. Oh. Take that one. <laughs> but it's a little green. Yeah. But you know, if you can get them red, we you know we can export these over into you know the okay. southern he hemisphere, and it's and it's good money. It's just it's it's tough to get them red. So we put this down to uh, to reflect the sunlight, okay. and uh, you can see we you know we come in and we prune the trees first, open them up. Try to get light in there to um, uh, help help uh, promote uh, color. Color. And we do that on a lot of varieties. Ooh. We do that on we do not, that on the not... on Fuji's. We have we we'll even do it on the Honeycrisp too. You know sometimes. So, but as you can see, it's pretty bright. Right. But we'll come in next week. Uh huh. Probably next next week. next Wednesday or something, and we'll pull it out, get it out of the way. Put the bins in and be ready to pick. All of the pickers, tractor yeah. drivers, irrigators are H2A. Everybody. And that's pretty good. That's, good. that's really good. My pickle can do this. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah. Hey, let's let's go up and I want to show you the chicken. You know, Fuji's Honey Crisp is a, just a big produced, a large fruit, and so it's kind of it's kind of annoying. But, but you know, you do pick in the galas and some of the other cultivars. Pink ladies, for instance, mm -hmm. tend to run this big. Yeah. You know, so we, you know we don't you know we don't have a lot of pinks. Our farms, what we primarily have, are galas and honey crisp and Fuji's. Fuji's. You know, Fuji. but those okay. are the, 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 the main ones that we grow here. Okay. So, and we start, you know, anywhere from mid mid August to you know um, November. But you know, in that time, you know, like. So it, it, you know, that. Color? We're trying, we're trying to make these apples red. Like affecting sun, it's like sun. Yeah, reflecting sun. Right? Yes. And then we can, the redder we get, the better chance we can export these to Asia. Yeah, that's bitter pit. Yeah. This isn't um, this is an early Fuji. It's not it's not the best apple to get red. <laughs> you know, like the, the that variety over there is some Aztec Fuji. We pick it, you know, in a month from now. It it, it gets redder. It gets better. I wish I had it with you. I took it home. I found a honey crisp last week. this down to, uh, to reflect the sunlight and uh, you can see we you know we come in and we prune the trees first open them up and we do that on a lot of 